Well, howdy guys, thanks for tuning back in. I'm Imperial Jedi, and this, of course, is Imperius Ravenna, and we are on episode number 26. And, uh, man, like, honestly, I say it almost every episode, what a wonderful looking city to show for it. Honestly, of all the cities I think I'm working on, this one's definitely one of my favorite. And, uh, you know, it's been a few episodes, or a few, um, a few days since the last episode, and, you know, I've just been a little bit bogged down in real life, but I am trying to just kind of make 2017 the year we take over the internet, so, you know, I could use your help with that, so tell your friends, tell your family. Recommend Mr. Imperial Jedi to them, please and thank you. And yeah, honestly, hopefully I really... Like, I'm trying to like make a little schedule and stuff. I really want to just tackle, you know, the upcoming year. So hopefully we can have a lot of fun. So I really appreciate you sticking around, making it this far into the series. Just, you know, subscribing, just being here in general. So thank you very much. And, uh, you know, it's been, like I said, a little bit of time since last episode. And I've had just quite a few suggestions pour in since then. So I've actually just done a little bit of off-camera building just to get us started right now. And it's just mostly me implementing some suggestions, and I won't lie, it's me spending, like, way too much time kind of fixing that. So, uh, let's start over here, and we'll kind of make our way, um, over. So, uh, just, again, based on suggestions, this area here is just, uh, done a little bit of musical chairs. So a lot of the buildings are kind of moved around. And, you know, I mean, this is very busy. We don't have a lot of room. I'm thinking, though, when it's all said and done, I might maybe keep, like, a couple of them. I don't know, we're right still on the fence, but we'll ignore those things. But really what I like is um, I put in more of these. I think the parking lot and the power plant's better flow to it. I've added another outflow pipe here so we get more water flow in our little river thing. I just like that. It looks really just it's a lot cleaner basically. The bridge looks better. And then for absolute fun, um, I have a cargo train station right here. And uh, this is going through the mountain. Uh, comes out right over here. These are linked up. And what I want to do is just stretch this rail up and over the highway, just connect over here. So we'll do that maybe maybe later on. And then as far as this just kind of neck of the woods goes in general, you can even see like just visually, they're starting to get, I mean, a little bit of a backlog. Our volume, it's pretty, there's a lot of trucks and everything going through here. So, I mean, actually for this episode, I'm just going to kind of deviate a little bit. What I really want to do is kind of start, I think I maybe have mentioned this before. I'm, I'm sure I have. Uh, yeah, a positive I have. What am I saying? What I want is a highway that kind of starts and ends over here, makes its way across, so having an interchange here, follows along where the you know train tracks are type thing. When we get over here, we'll split across the river, and I would like, uh, yeah, just go over here and then just end right there. And then hopefully what we can do as well is bring some of these one-way roads across and then link up. So we'll make like an elevated highway the whole way across, and then we'll just use some of these pre-existing in-town one-way roads to kind of use... Yeah, we'll use those as like our way ons and off, basically. Just kind of throughout the, uh, the the neighborhoods here. And then, uh, yeah, that should be kind of cool. Should help uh, balance traffic. Because what I was doing over here, just to help traffic a little bit, is when you're spilling off the highway now, this is six lanes leaving. So just a lot faster for the outflow. So you can turn left or right here, uh, go straight, and then turn left or right or go straight again type thing. And, and then over here is the opposite. So more action towards the highway just kind of helps... I think in the long run. And then I added just a little back road back here with a level crossing that I thought looked kind of cool. Just to just to help a little bit. Out. Um, and then as far as the rest of the city goes, I just scaled this down a little bit. So that's a parking lot and uh, some commercial there. A few less buildings though. And then um, I don't really think I did anything else too crazy besides of course this thing right here. So let me show you this. This is where the fissure was. Uh, created by that earthquake and I mean you know I, I was going for you guys probably saw obviously like it was tricky to get the smaller version of this to work so what I ended up having to do is I took out the roads made everything a little bit wider and we have now a water tower right here and this is pumping fresh water out of the ground and it's connected to these two freshwater outflow pipes and the two of them this is a pretty deep uh, kind of little channel and it slowly goes downhill towards actually this little hidden water pipe a little pump right there and the outflow of these two combined is um, like a quarter of the capacity or so maybe half the capacity of this thing right here so we're gonna have zero chance of this filling up and spilling over and but because it's downhill we get a nice little flow to it and because we kind of hid this it almost looks like we just have this cool little ravine that like runs under the city and like you can only see part of it in certain parts or whatever so I mean I like that it's pretty neat that's a little bit of life and extra to our transit hub Fun little view. And actually, I think I'm going to get rid of... Sometimes a single zoning, it just doesn't really look too attractive to me. 
We've still got our areas for the transit turn around. And what I did in terms of the zoning is I put a big buffer of um, offices just through here. And apparently I've missed a few spots. And then, I mean, no one seems to be complaining about the noise so far, so I think we're okay with that. And then over here, just in preparation for the highway, I moved the disaster shelter, the emergency shelter, just kind of over to here. And then, uh, based on a suggestion that came in from our good friend Peter Green, we've now named our mountain the Imperial Research Facility of Science and Technology. I like that a lot. Couldn't fit it all in one, uh, one little name placard thing there, one little uh, district, but I think it works right there. So thank you for that. Keep the suggestions coming, guys. And I, I mean, that's pretty much it. So yeah, for this episode, let's try and work on that highway. We'll see how far we get with that. And I mean, I slowly want to make the rails kind of make their way over as well. And I do want to just maybe fill this area in a little bit more, move some stuff around too. Maybe get rid of this too. Lots I want to do. Let's let's just jump in and see how time kind of goes with it. And so I'm going to move, I mean, not fast, but maybe a little bit fast just to kind of see if we can just accomplish a lot this episode. Let's go height of three through here. And I want just basically an elevated parkway just going in a straight shot right on through here. Let's try not to do too much damage. I'm actually going to pause the game because I'm probably going to lose some of these power lines. Which is not the end of the world. Oh, cool. I mean, that's so, I mean, yeah, super simple, right? But just exactly what we're going for, though. Okay, so that'll just go to the end right there. And I guess we could start our curve over over the water. Okay, there we go. And then we'll just put a halt to that just until we buy this tile. But we're pretty darn close. Here's our population versus the, the next unlock, which is also the airport. And this could be a pretty good spot for the airport. All things considered, we can even use this new parkway we're creating. And the rails. Oh, okay, there we go. Multi-purpose here. Thinking for the future. I like it. I like it. Now, if we do this the right way, we can get the pillars to line up. And if we do it the wrong way, um, yeah, unfortunately, we'll not. Okay, now there's a, probably a way to do this. No, you know what? Let's not go to that much effort. I just want them to be the same height. I don't think it'd be impossible to get the pillars to line up, but... And then we'll just have that go across. And then we'll just build, you know, just a regular interchange out of that, but... Because <clears throat> that's kind of easy, we'll do that part last, I guess. And that'll go down to here. Great. And this more looks like it's a an issue with the pillars right there. Okay, good, good. Now that might have to be cleaned up a little bit. That could be something that's done off camera because, you know, it's not really nowhere else for it to go, unfortunately. And I still would maybe like a way in like that kind of thing. And then we could have like a way up. It'd be nice not to ruin the bike lane though. Well, that's kind of cool. Oops. I mean, that's not, yeah, that's not impossible. <clears throat> I kind of like that. Okay, so uh, we'll worry about the, again, the directions afterwards, but I think we're going to keep that, and then we'll just have the corresponding way over here. And, you know, I mean, this area realistically isn't going to be overly developed anyway, so I'm not too stressed out about traffic, but you can see we're kind of cutting it close. But there's no traffic lights or anything, and this should be just a smooth flow through anyhow, but we'll monitor it. Worst case scenario, we can always upgrade a couple of these roads just to force some traffic lights, and then that'll, you know, maybe hopefully govern things properly. Otherwise, let's now bring across these tracks here. Or like, you know, when I say tracks, I mean like the, the roads with the tram tracks. 
And I still, I mean, I do want to have a um, kind of like a tram network kind of go through here as well. <clears throat> and then something we could do is maybe, oh, look at that, that almost lines up. And that's two uh, two-way lane, or two-way uh, tram traffic right there. And then, like I was saying, uh, maybe we could do some zoning in here and just have like a, an extension of the tram loops or add another one. I mean, like, where, where are we at right now with trams? I mean, realistically, we can have one that just goes through this loop. I think that's super, super easy for us to do. Okay, getting ahead of myself, but, you know, just so we're thinking about the same thing here. Okay, let's get these to line up. I mean, whenever possible, I'll try to make these the same distance apart. Or, like, any at the same distance. Cause, I mean, that should help with the pillars, more or less. And I'm just, I don't know, should we make these closer together? Are we okay just going straight on through, I wonder? And that's cool that it gradually gets downhill, because we're going to want to go underneath this anyway. And then, you know, of course we can change the uh, layout of those rows just to get the pillars to cooperate with us. So that meant that we went to about here. Losing some of that height, though. Is that the whole way, or is that just that last little stretch? Yeah. I see. Now, what happens if we go to the exact same length, but then bring it down like this? Nope, that's not happening. I think I missed it by one click there. I, I didn't quite get it right, but I think we got far enough there that we're... Uh, no, 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 no. I take it back. Sorry, guys. I don't mean for this stuff to take forever. I always just, in my mind, think everything's going to be like Speedy Gonzales. So I think what we need to do is get this side of the river, um, the pillar there, a little bit taller. And then when we hop across, that'll be, yeah, that'll be easier. Yep, I'll take that. Awesome. Okay, so these we are just getting rid of just temporarily. And then, okay, so we have these ones here from the underground. Let's bring these up now. I don't know if we went far enough. I think we did. Yes. Okay, cool. So these could theoretically go straight across like that. And then these could come in and... Like, we could either do a roundabout, or we could have these continue through. Or, or I mean, sorry, we could have them curve and end, go in like that, or we can have them go through like this as a roundabout. And then maybe link up with, yeah, these, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so let's let's try that. Let's get the roundabout in here. And I don't think that's too crazy of an angle for this to not work, so it should still look okay. No, you know what? Not really enough of one. Uh, and you know, I think in a perfect world, too, we might maybe help the terrain out a bit by doing some terraforming ahead of time. Okay, so let's ixnay on the roundabout, but let's go in for a nice little curve. How are we looking on that side? I guess we can push like that. So it's even lower going below the highway. So I, I like the idea of that. And when I run out of soil, I meant to say, say this in a previous episode. I've, I kind of use underwater whenever I need to, well, you know, hide some mountains underneath there. Because when you're, you know, not looking at your soil view, you can't even tell, right? Great little surprise. Um, okay, right over here. Much better. Okay, so I guess this would come to about EA or so, and then these would... I don't know if we can get the curve just right. No, we gotta go a bit further out. Let's see to about there. 
Perfect. And we're going to look to line up with the tiles so we can get our curve and everything just right here. Also cool. All right, well, we'll get these to now work. And our directions to line up. And see if we can just go the whole way as we can. Okay. Um, oop, almost. Um, yes, okay, so that works. That's connected. Excellent, excellent, excellent. That's two-way traffic through there. Also excellent. Let's bring the rails across before we forget about those. And I guess we'll stay elevated. Looks like we're going to have to move the um, radio tower. Let's put that to the other side of the street. And then, I mean, we'll worry about the power and stuff afterwards. Like, just get rid of these power lines for the moment. Don't really need that road right now. Worry. Well, no, you know what? I'm going to keep that in because it, it works with the way the bike lane and everything is set up right now. And I think this would just end up going that way. And we'll probably work that through. I mean, I want to build like a little suburb or something here and have a few tall buildings just so the, the skyline over here doesn't get too drowned up by this elevated highway. Speaking of which, let's bring this back in now. <laughs> I, this game is so silly sometimes when it does those kind of crazy heights. Now, why aren't these the same height either? So many questions right now. Do you see what I mean though? How like one of them is like drastically taller than the other? What in the heck happened here? Hmm. Even, even this side, oh my gosh. Well, I'm glad we noticed this just now. Oh, you know what it is? It's probably that little bit of the, um, to the terrains uneven. Yeah, that's a hundred thousand percent what it was. Okay. Well, let's not be so fast to judge then. Jump into conclusion. That's all we seem to do here. Just gotta take a chill pill. Okay, cool. So that's, I mean, a way better height profile. Um, I seem to have missed a few spots somehow again. I might just have to look on these on like a bit more of like a side profile level and just kind of adjust accordingly. I mean, worst case, we just get it as close as we can and then just leave it, you know? Okay, now let's just try doing one long straight shot between these two. So I like that side, but I don't like the other side. Okay, let's just try a straight shot between these two now. There we go. Awesome. And then I'm going to push my luck, and we're going to try it over here. I don't know. This is kind of... We'll see. I mean, the long segments, they seem to kind of fix it. No, not quite, but that's, that's okay. Let's not let us get too bogged down by that. All right, so let's um let's now build this interchange and let's get some traffic and everything flowing through here. And oh, no, that's the one I want to shorten. Okay, so we'll over exaggerate the size of this. Just so we get some fast speed through here. And I mean, I like making oversized interchanges these days. They seem to just keep getting bigger and bigger. But, you know, obviously for fun, if we wanted to, we could make this like a crazy over the top, like ridiculous interchange. But I, I mean, I don't know. I think we'll keep it simple. And then if we do end up actually going in the other direction in terms of... Um, you know, a bit more of a push for some density. We can always change this over uh, to more of like a clover leaf or something like that. So some room for, for some changes here, basically. All right, there's the one direction. Okay, so that's that. Now let's get the other way going. And 
Give us a little bit more room. Mm, not too shabby. Not too shabby indeed. Okay, we'll keep that. So that's your way to go both directions now when you're leaving the city. <clears throat> we just need this direction. No, I mean, there might be enough room just to sneak. Yeah, look at that. I don't want to make that too, oops, too tight of a curve. Otherwise, we'll lose um, all the speed we're kind of working up on here. And also, I mean, oversized interchange, right? Like, we're not worried about taking up too much space or anything like that. Now, before we go any further, it looks like our height is getting a little bit bizarro here as well. So let's try that in one segment. Much cleaner, thank you. And then I feel like for this, it's like logically, why would we want to go down a grade just to immediately go back up? So that kind of makes sense for me right there, having these two link up like that versus this go down and then link up with this just to drive back uphill. If that makes if that makes any sense right there. And then just so our spacing looks a bit cleaner. There we go. But no, I mean, I like that. That's, that I mean, this is a little bit tight, but we're kind of, you know, not really, we don't have a choice because of the bridges, right? Unless we redo that whole thing, but I don't think so. All right, so directions, make sure we're going the right way here. And then I would like a, you know, what we could even do is kind of like a partial clover leaf system to connect to these. And then we can have kind of like a little, I don't know, roundabout or something below it. And then that can help with um, with traffic. I mean, I'll kind of show you what I mean. I actually, I take back what I was about to say. Maybe we're going to do something with a traffic light just to help govern govern things. Okay, so that's going the right way. I'm worried about that really later, but might as well just change it. Okay, that goes the right way. Let's put this now back in. All right, so that's much better. I mean, a little steep. We could have drawn that a bit further out. I think we have some room to do that, but not the end of the world. And then this, I think we're actually going to stretch across. Go like that. <clears throat> and I, I want to double up maybe on the wind. And just go higher with this. Okay. Power lines, probably going to get rid of them once the power we fill this area in, but for the moment, that's okay. Don't need that anymore. And then don't need that because we're going to connect over that way. So just maybe temporary until we bridge that with some buildings. Okay, I mean, it's starting to come together. Alright, so that looks like it doesn't want to fit right here here. So why don't we do something fun with the one ways. There we go. Okay. Just way on and off for fun right there. Uh, and then now let's work in the highway. This is where things are going to get kind of tricky and fun. And it's going to be, I think, kind of a Fun use of the area now that I'm actually seeing the way these kind of curves and everything work and look. Okay, so there's like the way off the highway in air quotes, and it's kind of fun following that little slalom curve thing. Arguably, it's a little bit steep in that last little approach, but. Hmm, actually, no, I just I just talked myself into wanting to make that a bit better. And you know, we always could do... 
I mean, something like that. No, you know what? I think I'd rather terraform a bit more. Push away the earth a bit there. Hmm. It's kind of the same thing. And, I mean, I'm just kind of keeping an eye on the time. I don't necessarily think we're going to be able to get to zoning this this episode, but... I think what we're going to do for next episode is probably just pick up where we leave off here. And then what I was saying is maybe have something like this, just between the two. And, darn it, why can't that line up? Okay, there we go. That does now. Now, interestingly enough, we don't get a double set of lights. Unless we were to, um, which I actually would like to, have that come through and then link up hopefully to the other side of that highway. So I may need to change this little bit here, which I think we're going to do right now. It's an easy fix for later. Okay, so that goes like that. Alright, now we're talking. This is getting kind of fun. Cool. I think so. Let's try that approach a bit differently. Hmm, okay. I guess we don't really have a choice. Ooh, that's much nicer. Okay, cool. So, uh, you basically have your way. You're driving towards here to go onto the highway like this. Great. If not, you continue through here. Um, you would... Uh, oh, wait. We have to put that in still. Uh, I'm going to do like a partial cloverleaf, I guess, through here just to come up and get that way. Yeah, that'll look really neat. And then I want to just basically design like a suburb in and around this whole junction. I'm gonna see how this looks. That might, this might end up changing. But uh, actually, I don't know. That's kind of cool. Oh yeah. Oh, never mind. Damn it. It's too. Oh, I don't think I've ever said that in a video before. Oh, how about that? Well, there we go. I was frustrated. Oh my goodness. That's such a real. That's a real emotion, guys. Holy smokes. Usually I hold back. So there we go. Um. Okay. Let's try that again. And of course, you know, if we make it too steep or too tight, uh, the speed loss, it just doesn't make any sense. We need this to handle high volumes. Is that crazy? Mm, not the craziest. And it'll be pretty cool to see all this uh, with like trams and stuff flowing through here too. Oh yeah, that's cool. Oh yes, I love this. This is getting fun. And of course, I mean, subject to maybe a little bit of change uh, off camera, you never know. Okay, so you're driving in, you go on that way, perfect. Otherwise, you need a way to get to the other side of the street so that you could go in like that. That was kind of my, my plan. So maybe over here, we can also have one of these. But, in a perfect world, you'd also have the traffic light, because I, I do want that. Hmm. Now, of course, these don't line up, of course. I don't want to say of course, but just, like, kind of our luck, right? So what's stopping us? Let's just try something a little bit different, just for fun, really quickly. Okay, so there's that, which is cool. I kind of like that, to be honest. There we go, that 
helps to have it better. Okay. Here we go. I like that. That's very nice. And then, I mean, I'm not really opposed to having just a simple way for us to do uh, U-turns here. It's just, I want it to be safe. So I guess we can have one direction going like that and then one direction going like that. So that helps with um, it's like a left-hand drive system here. I like that. Yeah, it's a bit of an interesting interchange. Okay. Well, I mean, let's just give that a try. And then the whole point of that would be to, so when you're coming in, you turn like that, and then you get onto the highway like this, basically. All right, now, are people actually going to use this? That's the real that's the question. There's our first, yes, our first customers. Ha ha ha, the system works. And now the traffic lights aren't on like the highway highway. Oh, look at all these people using this. Oh, that's great. Great, 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 great. I love it. Okay, so I'm probably going to decorate and maybe change a few things around off camera. But I mean, this is more or less what I was going for. And this is pretty darn cool. All things considering. We got a little link over to here too. Kind of monitor that. And then we'll maybe bring, you know, this road through with trams or something again as well. And then look on maybe making some tram connections in between the two areas. Put a little line or something in. Oh, I like this. This is a good little... Good little episode. All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna leave you with this. Uh, it's still definitely my intention to kind of fill this in. We still got to bring the train across and just finish everything off. Lots to do, and like everything else, it, everything takes more time than I kind of thought it would. But I mean, these two nifty new interchanges. This one, like, way oversized, which I, I really like. I might maybe do our connecting arms. At this I don't know. Maybe maybe not. You guys have any suggestions? Totally like feel free. Like again, like we're building the city together, guys. Don't feel like I'm the one calling the shots. You know. Um, so I'm going to put in a whole bunch of rocks and trees and stuff. We'll see how this ends up looking. But um, yeah, I think we can go over things next episode and kind of go from there. All right, friends, all the best. Happy to be back and I will uh, see you in the next episode. Looking forward to reading the comments and hope your own cities are doing well. And hope you're doing well too. All right, guys, take care of yourselves. Mm -hmm.